Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I would share a little thrift haul with you or a charity shop haul if you live in the UK like me. It's been a while since I've shared one of these. I've not really been out thrifting and when I have visited a shop, I haven't found much. All of the items I'm sharing today were found in the last few weeks. I visited a few different shops on different days. So I didn't just pick up these items from one shop on one outing. Sometimes I get really lucky with what I find and other times it's a struggle to find anything worth bringing home. So let me show you what I found. So first up is this fabric piece. When I first picked this up, I thought maybe it was a rug or a blanket. It wasn't until I got it home that my husband said that it was probably a pillowcase and I think he might be right. It's too big to fit in frame, but it's got this really pretty floral design on it and it only cost me a pound. And then inside, it has this care instruction label and it measures 20 inches by 30 inches by five inches. And there's this little sleeve, which makes me think my husband is definitely right and then it's a pillowcase. I don't think it would be one that you would sleep on because it's absolutely huge. I think it's probably more for decorative use. I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to use it. It's probably going to be quite difficult to cut into. I've never used anything like this before. I've never seen anything like this before, but I thought it was really pretty and really unique. And for a pound, I thought, why not see if I can use it in my journals? Next up is this pretty floral fabric. This was actually the very first thing I picked up on my thrifting adventure and it measures 40 centimeters by 40 centimeters. So it's pretty small and it was very, very pricey. So I actually paid £1.50 for this piece of fabric. I wasn't expecting to pay that at all. So the charity shop that I visited was brand new it had only been open about 10 or 15 minutes. I was there super early and this didn't have a price on it at all. So I went to the lady at the till and I asked her how much it was, hoping she would say 50 pence, but she said £1.50. That's way too pricey for this amount of fabric in my opinion, even though it's super pretty. But because it was the only thing I had and they'd only been open for such a short amount of time, I didn't feel right saying that it was too expensive and putting it back on the shelf. So I just paid the £1.50. I do really like it and I'm going to try and make a journal cover out of it. But if they do continue to sell fabric of this size for this amount, then I'm probably not going to be buying a lot from that charity shop because it was just so expensive. But I did think it was really, really pretty. Next up, I have a couple of sewing patterns and I paid one pound each for these and they have the tissue paper inside as well. So I love using the tissue paper in collage and my crafty projects. I have yet to use any of the covers and I think they're from the 1970s. So this one is from 1973 and this one is from 1981. So I'll have fun using those in my projects. Next up, I have some buttons and I paid 50 pence for all of these. And I really bought them because I liked these green ones. Let me see if I can take them out of the wrapper. So these are the pretty buttons and I just really like them. I love the green color and I just thought they were really cool. I think there are only about eight of these in the pack. There are some other ones. So I think there's a couple of these ones and a couple of these ones. I'm not as keen on these. These ones are okay. And like I said, I bought it mainly for these ones. I just thought they were a bit different and I don't have anything like this. So they will be really fun to use on my journals and crafty projects. Next, I picked up some jewelry. I don't wear a lot of jewellery at all, but I bought these because I thought they would make really interesting beads and charms on my journals. So first up is this one, and this one cost me £1.75. 
and I just really liked the colour of the blue beads and I also really like the brown ones and what I look out for with jewellery in charity shops is that it's on elastic because when it's on elastic you can just cut the elastic and all the beads will come off really easily rather than ones that are attached by wire. I also have this pretty pink one. This one cost me £1.75. I also have these clear beads and this one cost me £1.50. And again, it's on elastic so I can just cut that and take the beads off. And then I also have this one. This one only cost me a pound. And I bought it mainly because I loved this blue and green bead. I just thought it was really pretty. And I love the colour of this green bead here. And there's just some really unique shapes. And the beads on here are a little bit bigger than what I usually use. So I thought that would be really interesting for some journals. Next up is this. And I absolutely love this. It's a china dish. And it's got this pretty floral pattern on it. But what really drew me to this was the seashell shape. It's so unique. I've not seen anything like this before, especially with a floral pattern on the inside. And this one cost me £3. I'm going to put it on my desk and I'm probably going to store some little trinkets in here. Maybe some beads, buttons, paper clips, just some little things so that I can look at it because it's just really pretty. So I was really happy with this find. Along the same lines is this one. This is a saucer because it's got the little hole here for your teacup to sit. And I only paid a pound for this one. I don't really know the brand here. It says Queen Anne, but it is a china dish. And I picked this up because I absolutely loved the green and yellow floral pattern. It's kind of a bit more muted, so it's not bright colors. And my plan for this is to mix some paint up on it. So I do have a couple of other dishes that I use for mixing my paints, but they're quite small and they're brown. And sometimes it's really hard to see what the colour of the paint is I'm mixing. Um, so yeah, I was really happy to have found this one. Next up is this. It's a stamp making kit and it's by the brand Speedball. And I've been wanting to try making my own stamps for a little while. But I've never got round to buying any of the equipment because it always seemed rather expensive. So when I saw this in the charity shop, I was so happy. It cost me £2.50 and I had a quick look online and I think they go for about £20 if you buy them online. So I was really happy to find this. It does have everything inside. So it has the carving block. It has some tracing paper, it has the little wooden handle, the instructions, the tools to cut the carving block with, and then it also has the stamp ideas inside here as well. I'm not sure what I'm going to carve in it yet, but it'll probably be something like a star because that's nice and easy. <laughs> and the box is a little bit tatty, but that's okay, I don't really need the box. Then I found some envelopes. These are airmail envelopes and it's a brand new pack. It seems to be a bit grubby on the inside. And I paid a pound for these. So it's a pack of 20 and these will be really handy for adding into journals. I think they'd be really useful when you're traveling on holiday and you can add some journaling inside or some photos and things like that. Last up is a book. And I've mentioned in some of my previous thrift hauls that I try not to buy too many books because I still have lots and I don't have much storage space for them. So this is the Girls Crystal Annual from 1964 and it cost me £2. There is some water damage on the front cover and the spine does seem to be missing. But I bought it because I really liked some of the full page spreads. I really liked this ballet page. And I thought this page was really beautiful. 
and I don't have anything like this in my collection so I thought it would be really nice to add one to it. So that's my little thrift haul. I really hope you enjoyed seeing the treasures I found. I hope you're all doing really well. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.